Well, here we are. The sun is setting. And this is our Intex pool install video. And before we get started, I want to talk about two things you will not find in this video because I don't want you to waste your time, watch the video, looking for these things, and you, you could have found it elsewhere. So first things first, the retaining wall right there, well, right there, the retaining wall and the 15 tons of gravel we put down to level this pool out. This site wasn't that awfully bad. It's about 12 inches uh, low on the bottom versus the top. Um, but we, we wanted it perfectly level. You, you want to start off with a great level base for your pool. Uh, we still didn't get it perfectly level. We got about an inch difference from the bottom to the top. I think you can see it by the squares there, but we did a pretty good job with it. And uh, it was very uh, labor intensive and time consuming, but there's so many ways you can do this. There's heavy timber, there's rock, there's concrete, there's there's just so many ways. You can go with a gravel base, a sand base, a river stone base. Um, you can go to straight straight to your ground. You can just dig out and go to your, your, your dirt. There's so many ways you can do that. So we didn't talk about that. We didn't put that in this video because if you want that information, you can find it elsewhere. Guarantee you there's a million videos out to help you with that. And then the second thing, we didn't go over the Intex pump and um, how we put our sand in and, and the fully install of that um, pump and how the settings work and all that because there's a great video that helped me do the job on YouTube. I'm going to link it. It's from Dale's Backyard. Amazing video on all about how to set up your Intex pool pump. Um, but we had some tips and tricks along the way that we definitely wanted to share. So, Without further ado, here is the rest of the video. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you get something from it. But we got our pool in, and it is doing great, and the family is loving it. So, all right. If you decide to go with these rubber mats from home from uh, Tractor Supply, they're I mean they're thick. They're durable. Uh, Antimicrobial. Won't have any mildew. Uh, water resistant gonna be perfect for under the pool but only problem with them is they are heavy and me and my wife have been struggling that they say 94 pounds online they they're not 94 pounds they're a lot more than 94 pounds but we have found one way we can carry them pretty good if you try to do side to side or end to end they are a pain but we're gonna show you real quick the way we do it If you grab the corners, one person and then the other person across another corner, they carry pretty easy. Makes it a lot easier. Of course, we had to learn that after putting half of them in, but there you have it. Corner to corner, save your life. So put the black mats down after we got it pretty level with the tamper. And the black mats are really good about showing little high spots, little low spots. And we found that if we take the hand hamper and hit those high spots, like you walk across and you feel, oh, this is a high spot right here. And you hit it. These mats are durable. It pounds it out. I think it takes probably a lot of the uh, dust and spreads it out. And it does a great job um, leveling it all out. So now we're ready to install the pool. Let's get it started. pump install first piece you're going to want to install is this uh this is the discharge for the water and where that rubber seal is right there that's going to be on that hole right there so you have to disassemble this whole thing so this this will come off and then obviously this collar right here will come off and then it'll slide in that hole um you'll see in just a second but 
and then it has a hole right here, you want that hole facing up because this piece is going to screw in it and it's got like a little, you can see the directions right there. Looks like a little bleeder valve. So that's how you set that up. Let's get it done. So this gasket right here fell out on us. So just make sure that's in there. And then you can see this is how it is. The gasket's right there on the inside of the liner. There's your air valve on there. And then this connects to there. But next we have the two inlet holes, which actually you can tell by the little diagram there. These are the inlet holes. They're two side by side. If you go inside the pool, you can see I've put together the uh, little, str little screen that goes on there. It's smushed it in the holes. Both of them. Now, I've just got to connect them with this, the, the clear pipes and the little hose clamps they have. Connect them, boom, boom, two of them. That's that fully assembled. Uh, lock is closed, unlock is open. So close it off and there you have that. So do not miss these little screws in the bottom of the box. Um, I got the clamps on, I got the, the inlet strainers on, but the screws, as you see right there, the screws, there's two of them per strainer. They go in the side of the strainer, so. I got one more put right there. Do not forget those. So I got that on. It shut off, and then that shut off. The pump's not hooked up, but we're getting the water put in. Hey, there's no, there's no creases. There's no, that's not a wrinkle. That's the seam. Don't let them kick them. Don't let them kick them. All right. He works. He works kind of cool and white. Yeah. I've noticed a couple of these pools like this. Yeah, you know, they'll bust a hole through by picking at it. Yeah, I'll grab it. Hold on one second. Let me get the video. I'm staying in this for a little while because it's fun. <laughs> That sunset. Over the farm. So here we have it. Finally fully installed. I mean, for our first time, I feel like we did pretty good. We can tell it's a little, not a hundred percent level. That's so like one cube difference, or maybe an inch difference from the top to the bottom. But then how are you liking it? It's amazing. Oh man. I'm gonna be in this all day tomorrow. Nice. Memorial Day weekend, kicking off right. This is the wall we put in. A little decorative wall up against the the mats. So we got a little seating area. Looking good. And that's the little my wife picked that up. That's an Intex uh, fountain and it's got different color strobe lights. But the coolest thing is the strobe lights work on hydroelectricity so the water is what's making the light work didn't have to put any batteries no plug-in no nothing so that's a pretty cool feature but there it is the new pool looking good